Hi there, this is Save Your Crypto. Okay, so first of all, can I just ask a little favour of you? Because um, my kind of revenue on uh, YouTube, it's kind of gone down. <laughs> when I started doing this, uh, like just about 18 months ago, um, I think the revenue was about like 200 euros a month or something like that. And now it's down to like 30 quid. A bit rubbish, isn't it? Now, you can help a lot by just liking the video and if you can leave a comment you know it doesn't matter what it is just say hello just tell me what your favorite crypto is or tell me what your favorite kind of animal is you know it doesn't really matter but uh, you know that kind of engagement is good for getting the video up in the algo and getting more views and i do know that um, videos that are about uh, multiverse x and uh, zoid pay seem to get more views than when i'm just ram rambling on about bitcoin and stuff like that so consequently this is going to be a multiverse x type video including zoid pay um, now the reason for that is i used to do like a meta bonding one on thursday and then i do a kind of like general claim one on the friday where i claim all the rewards that i was due um, now i think having it over the two days was a bit rubbish really because like on thursday the meta bonding it really comes to not a lot for me and i've got quite a big account and i think for most people it's probably almost irrelevant but at the same time i'm going to show you what you get from being a shopping pool owner as well now i'm saying that because the next shopping pool auction for zoid pay is on the 31st of march which is next week next friday i believe and uh, if you want to get involved with that you're going to need some zoid pay and the best place to get Zoid Pay is from the X Portal app. And I'm going to leave a link for that, but it will be savewithcrypto.org slash X Portal. OK, so that's the place where you can do all sorts of things like uh, use the X Exchange and all the Multiverse X kind of stuff. And of course, Zoid Pay itself. But first of all, let's just have a look at the X Exchange. Now, the actual claim time for the Multiverse X DEX is um, 1600 hours on UTC, that is, uh, on Friday. So I can't actually do it for another hour and a half. So meanwhile, I'm just going to connect to the uh, Zoid Pay staking, which is uh, stake.zoidpay.com. You can click Get Started there and connect. And I'm going to connect with my X Portal mobile wallet. So you can see here that there's a $71 worth of Zoid pay that I can claim. Now that seems to be about what it's earning every week, which is not bad, is it? Um, and that's with uh, $20,000 invested. So let's have a claim of that. And I'm going to claim rather than restake all. And part of the reason I'm claiming rather than restaking at the moment is because when we get the Zoid pay cards, I want to sort of, uh, you know, be able to sort of do things like, you know, buy things and spend my Zoid pay if it's worth a bit more then. But uh, I'm only going to spend what I earn. I'm not going to spend what I'm staking, obviously. And obviously, while Zoid pay is not worth that much at the moment, uh, you know, $71 a week is OK. But I think in the future that will be easily five times that probably about what I spend a week, maybe, although maybe not in the winter with the uh, energy bills. OK, so that's, that says claim successful there. So if I go back to the decks, you can see now that the balance is $83 because I've got now got the Zoid pay there. And do remember this because the way a DEX works is you're not putting money on this platform. The money's in your wallet. It's just uh, when it when you're connected to the DEX, that's where it shows. So you understand why it's very different to a centralized exchange. And I think a lot of us are forgetting this. You know, this is what the whole point of a DEX is. You know, it's somewhere where you can do transactions without the money really leaving your wallet. You know, it's briefly in a smart contract that happens and then goes back into your wallet. Anyway, that was a couple of hours ago, so I can do the claim over on Next Exchange now. And uh, yeah, I'm not, not quite getting this time, actually. So it's six days, 23 hours and 36 minutes to the next one. So it looks like the actual uh, time you can claim is more like kind of uh, 15.30, if you like, rather than 1600. Anyway, uh, so I can do that now. I can claim the boosted rewards. So I get 156 bucks of max, x max pretty much nothing of anything else eleven dollars there a little bit of e-gold wrapped e-gold and then pretty much nothing else okay i've got insufficient e-gold funds 
I'll tell you what I can do to do that is, oh yeah, I've got 20, 20 cents worth there. But what I could do here, I could unwrap this wrap tea gold here. So I could unwrap all that. Okay, so I'm signing that transaction. Okay, so that's that done. Okay, so I need to claim the boosted rewards. I can just go over here, actually. And I get the same stuff again, and that should work now. Okay, so there was seven transactions to sign there, which has been given a bit of a problem in the last few weeks, but let's see if it works. Okay, so it's saying confirm there. So it says confirm one of five now. Two, three, four, five. And I think this is the bit here where you have to make sure that you've got something worth claiming, otherwise even though the fees are tiny, it's just going to get swallowed up in the fees. So you can see here that the actual assets that we can actually use right now are worth pretty much nothing. Just like, you know, a little bit of aero, nothing really, nothing. The only thing over a dollar is USDC, funnily enough. There's a little bit of wrapped e-gold, and that's the Zoid pay I had before. What you have got now is the lock tokens. So you've got these ones here from like the new Epoch, which are worth $335. So I can't really start partying until October the 27th, 2026. And I'm just hoping that XMEX will be worth something by then. So the other thing I can do here is look at the meta staking. There's not much I can have there, but what I might do is I might stake the uh, Zoid Pay I've got here. Now what I'm going to do with the Zoid Pay that I've earned, rather than put it back into the shopping pool, I am actually going to put it into the meta staking on the decks. Um, for the reason being, I want to be able to use it when the uh, cards come along. And that way, it will only be a 10-day unbonding period, rather than, say, like one month, three months, six months, or 12 here. But I am keeping the bulk of my Zoid Pay uh, staked here for 12 months. But just before I do that, I think I will reinvest this UTK here because that was worth $11. Let's reinvest that. Okay, that's not connecting for some reason, so I'm going to disconnect it. So let's try that again. So UTK here, I'm going to reinvest. And the rest of it can stay there, I think. Let's grab the meta bonding anyway, because I didn't do that yesterday. There should be some extra UTK in there. Yeah, there's 272 UTK. And a bit more Zoid pay. Yeah, let's have that. So let's just have a look again what I've got. So yeah, 26 bucks of UTK, 100 bucks of Zoid pay. That's about all I really want to use today. So let's do that in the meta staking. So state UTK, maximum, and then I also want to stake Zoid Pay as well. So they got a new Zoid Pay bit of meta staking with 100 bucks worth of Zoid Pay in. So as far as I can see, I can probably put that in every week, which is what I'll do unless I need it. And then when we get the cards to play with, I'll have some money that I can do stuff with. And I suppose I should update my energy, although I can never quite see the point of this. Okay, there you go. Okay, so if you do want to get involved with any of this, like to do with Zoid Pay or Multiverse X or anything along those lines that you've just seen, then uh, your first stop has to be getting the X Portal app on your phone. Now this has just uh, come out like about a few weeks ago and uh, it's looking pretty good. It's actually technically still in a beta phase so there might be a few things that aren't quite right with it but it's looking pretty good to me and if you want to get hold of it just go to savercrypto.org slash xportal and you'll get to the right place. So that's it really. Uh, what you can do as well is uh, you can like this video and you can also leave a nice comment. Uh, you can actually download the app and then use that to uh, tell your friends.